Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steers, and I've got myself a cup of tea, and I'm going to be doing a video on No Man's Sky. Now, I think I've found a system inside of No Man's Sky which pretty much guarantees a crash loop on PlayStation 5. So this is pushing my PlayStation 5 hardware to its top end. <laughs> Doesn't feel right to me, but here you go. Let's jump on into game, and I'll show you what I mean. Chickaboom! Here I am inside of game. Now you can see there I've got the coordinates in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, people inside of the view of us, heck yes. But let's fly on into this station. Now you can probably see from this actual camera mode that I'm actually in the rings of a planet. I don't know where the planet blinking is. Um, it's somewhere around. But th there's the rings of the planet. There's the planet down there. Rings are freaking huge. Yeah, it completely dissects this station. Well, let's fly on into the old station then, people. Now, I've pretty much created a save just for doing this because I don't want to jeopardize my main save. So I'd say if you are going to come here and do experiments of your own, maybe start up a new save. See what I mean? Crash! There we go, let's send that over to Hello Games. There we go, done. And we jump back in. Why that's jumping back in, and I'm loading back in again, um, I jump back over to me on screen here, people, for a second. But I've also got some footage that's been sent to me by Mike UK on his PlayStation D. Uh, no, not on his PlayStation, on his Nintendo Switch, and also by Budget Reno. So I'm hoping to play you some of that footage as well, people. So let's just jump back into game and let's see if I can fly back on up to that station and see if we can land. Normally, I at least manage to land inside of the station, people. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's give that one more try. Here we go. You can see here, 42 minutes in. So basically, I just got all the portal glyphs built a small base by a portal which hopefully you're going to see because i don't think it would have auto saved when i was in space there well it may have done because i went downstairs to create a cup of tea in that time but anyways so, oh yeah, i'll be showing you some switch footage in a moment chum so if you think this is bad wait till you see um the switch footage that i hit up in a bit let's fly straight in the station boom i'm coming in station yeah let's see if it crashes this time sometimes i get to land and it creates an auto save oh okay well it crashed again <laughs> so there we go people i'll send that one over to um hello games as well so there we go that's that's playstation 5 that's playstation 5 and the only thing that i can think that's making it crash so much is because those pirate stations have got quite a lot of particle emitters plus also it's in the rings of a planet so there's a shed load of meteorites that are trying to render i just think it fills up the memory now you know the playstation what it's got 16 gigabytes of memory in there or ram or whatever it shouldn't do it. It shouldn't do it, in my opinion, people inside of the viewer verse. It really shouldn't. Not on next-gen console. I mean, come on. Anyways, let's jump on over, and I'll show you the footage that I've got from some Switch players inside of the verse, people inside of the universe. Yep, there we go. Boom. There you go. And um, I've got two bits. I've just stuck them in my mods folder just so I could find them easy. I don't know which is which. I think the longest is Budget Reno. So let's hit on up the smaller one first. This is from Mike UK. He sent me this over on Discord, so let's hit this one up here. So yeah, he did, he did say that this footage of him is just of him trying to land by a crashed Sentinel ship and he gets a crash. Now let's hit on up Budget Renos because this is, this is crazy stuff on Budget Renos. So the very first bit of footage that you're going to see is him launching the game for Nintendo Switch. The load times are freaking insane. They take ages for him to get into game and every single time it crashes, he's got to go through this loop. You know what, well, I'll just mute my um, my Winamp for a second, people, so you can actually just hear the music of the game, and I'll just talk over the top of that for a while. But yeah, you can see here, it's got 78 hours inside of his play file, his budget Reno. And, uh, I mean, I'm just going to skip this on a bit, because it, it goes on for ages. Look, look at it, look, load time's freaking crazy. I'm so glad I'm on PlayStation 5. But this, this is mental. So this is him landing on a corrupted Sentinel planet, so one of those dissonant systems, right? So when he lands on here, you would see all the little purple Sentinels try to spawn in, and some of the new Sentinel structures try to spawn in, some of those uh, mirror-y type things, whatever they are. And they're not even on the planet's surface. Look, they're just floating in the air. Just floating in the air, they're not even touching the surface. And it's like he can't actually do combat with them, really, not properly, until they actually drop down to the planet's surface. But look at the amount of frame rates it's dropping as well. It's it's pretty much unplayable, all the new Sentinel stuff. 
So I, I really feel for Switch players seeing this. You know, I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit on the footage that we've got in the background there. But it, it's not really... It, to say that this is playable for Switch is, is greatly over... It, it's not. It's not playable. I, I would struggle to play this. I really would. Especially if I was hoping to stream it and bring it to my audience. I mean, the frame drops are just insane. It goes down to like what? It must be at least fifteen frames per second at times. And look at this! Look at the actual textures. Maybe they need to have some sort—I don't know—some sort of texture changer inside of the settings, just to change it all to be in cell shaded, so it looks like a Dragon Ball Z universe or the very first outing of No Man's Sky or something. I mean, I'd rather play it in this, like a cell shade mode than to play it like this because this is just—that's not good, is it? Anyways. He gets crashes, but I'll just speed this footage on a little bit until he gets a crash. Oh, it doesn't show a little preview window. But it, it, the things that make it crash are pretty hot, like there, look. But it doesn't even... Let me just skip that back a little bit so you can see exactly what he was doing. So if, oh, it was going to crash pretty much straight after I skipped it. But he flies up and he encounters some Sentinel Interceptors. They're on intercept. He flies back down. He takes one out inside of the planet's atmosphere, which is pretty darn freaking awesome. Nice shooting there, Budget Rito. So yeah, Budget Reno, he's got an awesome channel. Well, he did, um, but he's, he's had to stop playing No Man's Sky because of the amount of crashes he's getting. So at the moment, he's just using his channel for shorts and things, but yeah, he's comical genius. I really like his sense of humour. So yeah, hit him up. He's a little bit more adult than me, just as a word of warning. He does use the odd F word. But yeah, I'll stick it up there, and it's not fudge. He uses a top-shelf version of fudge. Anyway, there we go. The software has closed because of an error, but it doesn't give an error message. And it doesn't say, do you want to send this error over to Hello Games? So there's part of me that's really worried that Hello Games are not seeing these errors. And you know, and now it goes for all the titles and that loading screen is going to be there for freaking ages. I mean, there's only, what, about four crashes in here. But Budget Reno ends up having to look at this freaking Atlas thing longer than he gets to play the game. If you add up the amount of time that he sits looking at this loading screen and the amount of time that he gets to play the game, he sees this more than playing the game. And that's just not cricket. That, that that's not a, that's not a fun game, is it? Just looking at that. So yeah, he does a few things where he like calls in his freighter. He goes into his capital freighter and it doesn't crash the first time. He flies back out of his freighter, recalls back in his freighter and fly and then flies back into it. So there you go. Look, I'll show you what happens when he flies back into his freighter. So it's hit and miss. Sometimes you can go into your freighter and it's not going to crash. Then other times you call in your freighter and it does crash. Now, it could be that maybe he's too close to a ringed planet. Maybe he's got too many frigates in his fleet, because that's another thing that I've heard. I've heard that Switch players are saying, if you manage to limit your frigate fleet to maybe just having four frigates, then it reduces the amount of crashes. They also say, if you don't get yourself a Sentinel ship or don't land on any of the new dissonant planets and engage with the Sentinels, your game is less likely to crash. But there we go, another crash. And again, there's no error message there to send or nothing to say, do you want to send this to Hello Games? So maybe they might be blind to this problem. So I'm making this video to send over to Hello Games to say, come on, what the fudge is going on for the Switch players? Switch players are having a freaking terrible time of things right now, people. Uh, so there's a few other crashes inside of here. I keep skipping. And let's see if we can find out where, it, where the crash happens. I think it happens any second now, just as he pans around to look at his freighter. Boom, crash. And again, no error message to send. It's it's an oddity. But then you've got the loading screen, getting all the way back in again. Let's uh, move this along a bit. So, yeah. He looks at his menus, does a couple of lands, looks at his menus. I think it's going inside and outside of his UIs, but it crashes again in the moment. But I can't remember what crashes it in this last one. But it, it's nothing other than playing the blinking game. He's not doing anything overly too strenuous other than what you're supposed to be able to do, what it says on the actual tin. So, I don't know. I really feel for Switch players right now. And I've also put out a poll. I'll show, I'll show you the polls in a moment over on my um, YouTube page because I asked other platforms whether they're having a lot of crashes and whether it's in, in destroying their enjoyment of their honor of playing No Man's Sky. We're we'll going to hit on them up a few of their replies. I haven't looked at the full replies list yet, so it could be interesting even for myself to have a quick read through. So there we go, it's flying back on up into space. Boom, go, go, Budget Reno, go. But yeah, I know he gets a crash towards the end because then he just fires up freaking um, some other game <laughs> on his menu list in the end. Here we go, there you go, crashed. And then I think that's pretty much it. I think at this point he's like, okay, I'm playing Assassin's Creed. 
Assassin's Creed is probably a little bit more stable. But I love his game range. Subnautica, pretty cool. The Outer Worlds. So if any of those appeal to you, I mean, he's a Switch player. Head on over if you've got Nintendo Switch. And um, I think he, I think he um, streams on Twitch now more than YouTube. But anyways, that's that's pretty much that. So let's go back to me for a second while I get busy over this other on the other screen and get myself ready to show you my poll. You know what? I'll have a little sip of my tea. Let's just wet the whistle. So people in the view of us, if you are having problems yourself, I'll play my Winamp as well. Let's put the Winamp back on. If you're having problems, you can always send us over some clips because basically what I'm thinking is there's going to be another update to No Man's Sky relatively soon, isn't there? I, I, I believe so anyway. I think it's going to happen towards the end of May uh, or maybe even before or maybe just slightly after. Um, so there is something else on my um, my actual community tab that I can show you actually, which may affect that slightly. So let's... Um, Get on up over onto my reaction cam. Boom! There we go. Boom! And we're on my community tab over on YouTube. Right, so let's scroll on down. So, yeah, members had access to that. I think that's live for everybody now. So, if you haven't seen that one, it's pretty good. Anyways, and uh, oh, yeah, I was talking about the, the cape, the Mercury cape, and whether it could be related to the, well, the geometric cape, I should say. Anyhow, and part of the ARG. Let's keep scrolling down anyway, because that's not what we're here for. So I've actually put Budget Reno's video up where he says about how No Man's Sky is pretty unplayable right now. Now, it's a very funny video, but it's a very serious topic, especially for Switch players, especially for a Switch content creator as well. It hits him two ways. So yeah, if you, if you want to give him a bit of support, you can find that link to that video over on my community tab. And you know what? Just to help him out a bit further, I'll put a link just up there. So you can just click that link and go over and see his video. It's a well worth watch. Trust me, he's a funny chap, his budget, Reno. And I met him in real life as well. He lives in a neighbouring town. So I want to meet him again, to be honest. Yeah, I bought him breakfast. He owes me breakfast this time. Ha <laughs> breakfast is on you, Reno. Right, <laughs> let's go on down. So yeah, Scottish Rod has done a video, and it's awesome. It talks about Mac OS and the, how the update could be for Mac OS and related to the new Metal chip, because I didn't know this, but over on the Apple Metal sort of website, it actually shows No Man's Sky on an Apple Mac laptop screen, and it almost feels like it could be their flagship game for putting out the new Metal 3 chip. And that drops or comes out on June 5th. So it makes sense for Hello Games to drop their next update around June 5th. So me saying that it might happen as soon as the Quicksilver stuff needs to be replenished towards the end of this month, it might be staggered another week until the first week of June, people. I might just do a separate video just on Rod's video and that bit of news because he covers it so beautifully. Right, let's head on down over here. So here we go. This is what you wanted to see. From doing the Switch poll on crashes, I've had comments from last gen players playstation 4 and xbox to say crashes are causing them not to play anymore either and here is the poll for all so last gen crashes happen too often to play as i would like 22 percent that's fairly high okay you've got current gen crashes happen far too often six percent if you add those together that's like what 28 percent okay both crashes happen but not enough to stop me playing that's another 12 percent. so that's still crashes all this top half is still crashes this bottom half of those 60 percent. so 60 percent of players are fairly happy whereas you know maybe the 40 percent are seeing crashes and some are more so than others and some not enough to see them stop playing the game but yeah that's still quite a high percentage on last gen that are having an insufferable problems so yeah but there's also 10 percent saying they're not seeing any crashes at all now i'm on playstation 5 and i've shown you a system that you can go test yourselves people set up a new freaking save for it you don't want to butcher your actual main save heck no but yeah um i'm, I'm seeing the crashes happen myself and i i've often got an idea of what's caused the crashes you know if you call in your freighter right next to another freighter fleet and then you try to board your freighter just as all your feet frigates are, are jumping in that can sometimes crash it same same if you put your freighter in the rings of a planet or something that can have problems when you fly in with the asteroids and stuff and also that um space station inside of the rings of a planet you know Anyhow, scrolling down, I did do another poll just on the whole game crashes for Switch players. 
Okay, so this is just for Switch players. However, inside the comments, I've got a few people sounding off that they're on previous gen and they're having the problems, hence why I've done the other poll. We'll go back up to the other poll in a minute and have a read of some of the comments there. So game crashes so often I can't play at all now. 52%. That's massively different to what we're seeing on the last gen, but the last gen is still worryingly high at 30%, isn't it, really? Game crashes often, but I, still, I can still play at 16%. So they're probably the people that are avoiding the Sentinel planets or avoiding the Sentinel ships or haven't grown their freighter fleet or built a freighter base or don't even use their freighter. You know, crashes happen every hour or so, it's okay, 8%. But then there's some people that said they've had no crashes for them whatsoever. Maybe that's early game. Maybe that's the early games. You can see there that Budget Reno has got 70 hours under his belt. He's getting to the point where he's growing his fleet, he's growing his freighter, he's building some complex bases, and he's hitting the centralized content. And this seems to be where the crashes are happening. In Budget Reno's video, he actually turns around and says he would like No Man's... Well, Hello Games, the maker of No Man's Sky, to perhaps even revert back or um, give people the opportunity to uninstall the latest patch to Sentinel just so they continue on with their save file. Hit that up, that video. If that sounds interesting to you, hit that up because it's an awesome video, like I say. Anyway, where was that other poll that I did? It's just below this, isn't it? Here we go. Let's go and read the comments because I haven't, I don't know whether I've read all of them. I guess here we go. Let's go on down. The issue most definitely on last gen by large, as someone with a PS4 and PS5 and PC and owning three copies of the game, this definitely seems to be the case. I prefer PC over everything. Well, Netrunner, you know, I play on PC occasionally, and on PC I just like hitting up mods. I like doing some modded gameplay, but I do that offline. I know a lot of people don't really like mods or seeing mods being used on PC. I know it shows the potential of the engine, but even still. I don't know, No Man's Sky, before Fractal, my ex Xbox One X constantly crashing. Since then, it performs much better now. Okay, I can get a few hours in before it crashes. I have a Switch version as well, haven't been playing on that as much. Waypoint was stable, don't know how it is since Fractal or Interceptor. It seems to be that Interceptor, the latest Sentinel sort of ship update, is the one that's causing a lot of problems for people, especially Budget Reno and uh, Mike UK and others. I sometimes play No Man's Sky on my PlayStation 4. I haven't experienced any crashes, even if I don't play for long. Primarily, I play on PS5 and Series X. Many have had issues entering the anomaly. Yes, I've seen that. People actually just st stuck at the door of the anomaly for like 40, 50 seconds before it actually lets you in. Apparently, going in and out, in and out of um, camera mode or, um, uh, fixes it. You can go in a bit quicker. So I have to warp in order to fix it. Oh, that sucks. Really sucks. And I've completely done the weekend mission just for it not to work. Game never crashes out, but forces me to close app. Yeah, I don't know whether those get I don't know whether those get reported and sent over to Hello Games either. So are Hello Games just not seeing the wider picture of how many crashes players are getting on these platforms? All I can suggest you do is if you've got a video clip or you've managed to video it using your phone, is maybe submit it that way over to the Zendesk, you know? Um, because I don't know whether they're getting these error reports or else. I, they're usually really good at fixing this stuff. I just don't know whether they've got sight over it on freaking Switch. I mean, looking at Budget Reno sort of error messages, it doesn't look like it pauses. It doesn't look like there's anything that pops up in any of the corners to say we've submitted this over to Hello Games or to Nintendo. Maybe even Nintendo aren't aware of this. You know, because when Cyberpunk was crashing this often, it got pulled from the PlayStation 4 store until they sorted the freaking shite out. So... Yeah, yeah. Like part of me thinks maybe that needs to happen over on Nintendo's side, but if Nintendo aren't getting these error logs, who the freaking heck is, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an odd one. But yeah, there's lots of messages on here that seem to be around the same thing. My PlayStation 4 crashes too often. It's not just the game crashes, but it's also freezing the game. It's just a joke to play. Yeah, so I've had that happen too, even on PlayStation 4, um, PlayStation 5, where it just hangs, it just freezes. You don't get any error log. It doesn't blue screen. It doesn't give you the video to send over to Hello Games. It just freezes. And the only way to get out of it is to hard reset the console. I'm always worried it's going to bust something, you know? Yeah, it's quite an expensive console to have that happen. I have had it freeze quite often. I can't really put my finger on what it was, but it was before we had that round of patches. You Nowhere know, it said about memory leaks and things. I'm wondering whether that was it. I think Hello Games have done a better job of patching that out now because I haven't had too many crashes on my PlayStation 5. Just like this chap says, on PS5, I have no crashes. I wouldn't go as far as that. You know, I, I still get crashes. I, I gave you a, a freaking system that you can go to right now inside of PlayStation 5, and I'm pretty 
sure you're guaranteed to get a crash. Yeah, so, um, I've still got my PlayStation 5 on. I think I have. I could jump back over there, couldn't I? Let's, let's give it one more go. <laughs> Since we're talking about this, let's just hit it up in the old background. I made myself a little bit... No, no, I won't be able to see what I'm doing if I don't, if I take it off this screen. <laughs> I haven't got eyes to it. Yeah, I've got my other laptop screen on. Anyways, let's have a little sip of the old tea. Ivy's shouting. I think she's shouting at me, but I can't go. Right, here we go. Let's hit this one up. And we got 42 minutes in. Yeah, I'll probably have to go down and see Ivy. It's actually the weekend at the moment, people. Normally, cup of teas with Captain Steve, my morning cup of tea or whatever. At the moment, this is a Sunday, so it's what? It's uh, 6.30. 6.30 of the PMs. Yes, it is. 6.30 PM. Wow. That's still a lovely cup of tea. Anyway, here we go. I'm in game. Right, let's see if we can get in and see if we can get landed. Meow. The only thing is with doing that is it does create a save when you jump out of your ship. And then it becomes very, very hard to escape this station. You have to be super quick. Okay. Well, it's, it's not going to even let me fly in there now, people. Oh, I was going to give you the blinking... I was going to give you the coordinates again, wasn't I? <laughs> Fudge sake. What a numpty. Right, well, let's fly back over. Let's get the um, coordinates and I'll, I'll put them up on screen. In fact, I think I shared these on Twitter. So if you follow me on Twitter, I've done a screenshot of this system. I've actually got a screenshot of me boots on the ground inside of the station in there, people. So I have made it in there before. But you try going over and talking to the mission agent without it crashing. That's a mission and a half. Yeah. Fun times. Let's fly back in. I'll get you the actual coordinates and I'll be closing this down and going to find out why Ivy keeps shouting me for. I think she knows I'm making a blinking video. I told her it was going to be a cup of tea with Captain Steve video. So, you know, it's only going to be half an hour. Unless the house is on fire, which it could be. My stepson's just come home. Anyway, here we go. Let's um, put that on screen. So it's a double eagle or double pigeon. Whatever bird you want to put it in. It's a double bird. And it's um, a rocket followed by a wigwam or teepee. Then we've got a triforce, one of those triangular pyramid type looking things. A whirly twirly black hole. A dipply doe, followed by another triforce or triangly thing. And then the last four digits, we've got ourselves a fish, a whale, and it's a uh, beetle, followed by a Y shape or flux capacitor type looking thing. And then an eclipse, an eclipse, people. They're your coordinates if you want to come here and do your own testing. But you know what? I'm going to come here and I'm going to test this system every single time that there's a new update. Hopefully, because if we get some optimization coming, even on PlayStation 5, I would half expect this to no longer crash poops. And I suppose at least if it's saved out here, I can always fly back to my own base and stuff, can't I? Anyway, let's um, make myself a little bit big on the old screen. Might as well turn off the old PlayStation. Come to think. Oh no, I can't really see what yeah. Anyway, <laughs> come on, let's have a cup of tea on the bag. On the bag, it's freaking in the mush, to be fair. Lovely cup of tea. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. And um, I don't think this has been too negative because I, I just want to try and encourage people to use the Zendesk. And you know what? I'm going to put a link to the Zendesk inside of the video description. And if you don't know what the Zendesk is, I put a video up here on how to use the Zendesk as well. Now, what I would suggest you do is if you're having these screen crashes and game crashes and you're not seeing the opportunity to send anything in as an error report like I got on the PlayStation 5, get your camera, video the screen as it's happening and send video clips over on the Zenders to Hello Games just in case they're not seeing it. And also it gives them an idea of when it's crashing and where these memory leaks might be or whatever it might be that's causing these crashes because... They're usually really good at fixing this stuff and hopefully if they are bringing something out for Mac hopefully they can put a bundle of freaking fixes in to fix it for other generations of console or console platforms like the Switch. So that's everything I've got for you people and um, hopefully you're going to watch that Zendesk video and get more invested into sending in error logs and things and, and crashes so we can try and get a smoother smoother gaming experience for everyone people in the view of us. Until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again.